Hey guys, welcome. welcome back, part two of our Red Centre trip. Um, we are on our way to Kings Canyon. Kings Canyon. Sad behind us. So we've just turned off um, on the Red Centre way. So this is um, uh, La, Juta, La Juta Highway. Um, and that'll take us to Kings Canyon, obviously. Um, and then we're gonna backtrack a little bit to get up to Fink Gorge. National Park, but yeah, King. King. Uluru, Yalara, Kalajuku was killer. Nice. Had a great few days there, um, but we're raring to get up to King's Canyon and check it out. So good things. Hey. Hit the road. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Well, Oof. it's freezing. Oof. It's sunny, but windy. Uh, so we arrived at Kings Canyon Resort. Nice little place. Um, uh, pricey. Pricey, you Pricey, think? 50 bucks for an unpowered site. <laughs> it's fine. But they've got happy hour at the pub, and that's where we're headed. This is where we are going. What is it called? Thirsty Camels. Thirsty Camel Gut. Something Bye. like that. We'll tell you when Bistro. we get there. Bistro. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Something like that. Well, yeah. But yes, we're going to go for a $6 schooner, for a $6 <coughs> wine. Oh, I just snorted. Snorted. Um, yeah, so we found a little spot. It's sort of just, you know, first and best dressed. Um, you can't book on bad sites. So yeah, you just rock in. We've got a nice and little spot, I reckon. Yeah, let's see. We have a view of the range. Oh, yeah, check this out. Good. It's very lovely. So there's the canyon over there. It's very lovely, minus those big high vis uh, things. I had a <laughs> had a bushfire come through here, um, like what last week, yeah. Thursday. So they got evacuated. So lucky it's even here. Otherwise, could be camping in the in the ashes. Um, but now it should be right. We'll go down for a skewy. Um, it's about ten minutes drive back out to the canyon. Um, so we're going to do that in the morning for sunrise. So another early start, but it'd be worth it. Um, so yeah, let's go have a schooner. Been driving all day, I'm thirsty. Jess has been sleeping. Cold, it's it? a little chilly. What a little that was that was nice. Was By the way, thirsty dingo, not the thirsty camera. <laughs> but still a yeah, definitely get yourself down here for a little happy hour number. <laughs> Beautiful. From 3 till 5 p.m. Very six nice. Even ended with a couple of little uh, chip numbers. What's for dinner? What are we making tonight? Um, Spaggy bowl. Spaggy bowl. Spaggy bowl. Thanks. Yum. <laughs> Beautiful. Get out of the wind. It's still a bit breezy. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it dies down for sunrise tomorrow. Maybe an early night, I reckon. Oh, you're gonna sunrise. need it. You might need it. I'm so tired. You might need it. You've already slept here three hours. <laughs> I slept 45 minutes. Uh, three hours. Way, yeah. Might as well have been three hours. The snoring minutes. that was going on from the passenger seat. I'll oh. tell you <laughs> That's what. So rude. Don't tell everyone I Yeah, feel. you do. Proper. Real sort of sort of number. <laughs> Wow. All right, all right. Well, let's get some spaggy bowl on. <laughs> so we, we can't have so you can't have fires at the at the Kings Canyon Resort. So we're having no. having how are we doing? Gas stove. <laughs> I don't even know where the Gas car is. Where does, Over there. All these people arrived and I don't know. know where we are. No, we can't find Um, uh, baduri on the gas stove. So we got a small little baduri that does a, a good curry and a good spaggy bowl. We don't normally call it spaggy, but oh, there we are. We're over here. Yeah. I thought we were I over told there. Whoops. One too many schooners. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not really. Drink responsibly. <laughs> yeah. 
No bad, no bad, no bad. Now it's getting there. This is my famous little recipe. This is a famous recipe. In all the land. I don't know think I have an Italian nonna, but I don't. Far from it, actually. It can make a delicious bag of secret. Big secret. So, Jess is setting the tent up. Um, it's freezing here. The breeze is just... Yeah, it's got some bite to it. It's got the old Mac pack out. That's how covered it. I told you, I should be a little Italian nonna in my favourite... I'm uh, Italian nonna. Favourite... Uh, spaghetti bolognese recipe with a nice glass of red. <laughs> it's famous, I'm telling you. Just you. Stop with the accent. It's all about the secret. What? You're trying what? really hard with it, the accent. It's genuine because my nana's Irish and half Scottish. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> no, no. We're going to have a quiet night tonight um, after our happy hour and um, yeah, have a bit of dinner and then we'll head the, hit, the pil hit the pillow early. Early start early tomorrow. Wake up. <laughs> We've got. The alarm will go off just before 5.30 to head out to Kings Canyon to get the sunrise. Because so. you've got to get to the car park and then you've got to climb the stairs. Before sunrise. Which takes about half an hour before sunrise. So, yeah. We don't want to miss it. It'll be good. It'll yeah. be good when we're up there. Yeah. It's just the wake up. All right. Okay. We'll see you all in the morning. Night of night. All right. What time is it? <laughs> 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. Oh. Brisk walk to get Brisk the blood flowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we can just see the lights starting to pop over the top of the canyon. Let me see that. We've got 500 stairs between us and the top. We'll get there, we'll do it. Mm. So. Bit much for this time of the morning. Ah, that's right. <laughs> you saw it right, people. We gotta go up there. <laughs> the blood is gonna be flowing. Safety. Ugh. This is why they shut it at 9 a.m. over days over 35, I think it is. Check out the size of some of these steps. It feels like you're on a completely other planet. This is unreal. It's like sand dunes turned into stone. Just crazy. I feel like a little Martian's gonna pop out behind me. Hello. Special. That's unreal. There is nothing like this. It's just like full on. Wow. You should have coffee. Me too. <laughs> All right. So we put an application into the NT National Parks to fly a drone. Um, which we got approved a couple of days ago, which is super exciting. And there's no one around, so.
I don't have any words. It's just it's off the charts. Just everywhere you look, it's different. You know what I mean? It's pretty special. So we're on the rim walk and we've just ducked off. It's a little path that comes off to what they call the Garden of Eden. You can see why. Towering cliffs. Big ghost guns. Water. It's probably very cold. Do you need to jump in? No. Nah. Said you can't. You yeah, can't. Well, I don't know. Still Still daring you. <laughs> no. Nah. Even if I could, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> camera probably doesn't do it no, justice, but not it's at so all. beautiful. I'll try and get some shots on the yeah. on the bigger camera, but it's um special as. So peaceful. It's so peaceful. I can stay here all day. You just hear the birds chirping. I could stay here all day. If I had coffee. If I had coffee, yeah. <laughs> Somebody has coffee. It's, uh, what, 7.30? About, uh, 7.55. 7 7.55, so nearly 8 o'clock. I'm still having a coffee. I'm proud of myself Blumpy. that I've got this far. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not real. You can't be. How can you be grumpy in no, a place no, like this? Can't. It's pretty specky. It's off the charts. Could add this to your to do list. I don't know why it's taking us this long to get here. This is crazy. Well, we're gonna lap this up and then we're gonna head back. It's what 600 meters back to the part, the to main the track. I don't know how long we have left actually. No, and then you go back up. So we've crossed the canyon. So you come down into sort of the valley, cross yeah. the canyon, and then you go back up again. Woo! And look, he's already got a boots off. Oh, my feet are so sore. Ah, <laughs> oh, that probably worked out to be just under eight k's with all the little bits and pieces you can go off and check out. There's like the Garden of Eden, which was amazing. Um, that was so good. It was a killer walk. Hard work though. There's a lot of stairs. 500 to start with and I reckon you would have done at least another thousand more was... after that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But worth it. That was just so spectacular. Some people reckon that's better than all the room. And it's, it's pretty amazing. I think. Yeah. It's pretty like, amazing. Well, I mean, not that we can climb all the way now, but like, no, I feel I like if I could imagine. No, I wouldn't do it anyway. I no. don't think so. <laughs> but that's um, that was just unreal. Just those domes, like the beehives, and mm. special. Anyway, I'm gonna go have a nice bath. <laughs> nice bath. <laughs> She's hundred years old. <laughs> well, she can have a nice bath. I'm making myself a coffee. <laughs> My stomach's grumpy. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some food. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, and then we got what? Kathleen Springs. Yeah. Should be exciting. So it's about what? We left, we hit the track about six o'clock. And right it's now it is what past, time? Quarter past six or 20 past we hit, we hit the track. And it is now. Oh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. 9.04, is that 904. what that's like? Three hours. Yeah, three and a half. Three Wait, hours. Six. <laughs> three hours. I can't the math. <laughs> yeah, three hours. So. Now, sustenance time, coffee and a brekkie. 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 Hey up, slow poke. So we're just at Kathleen Springs, which is about uh, 20 k's, 15 k's out of Kings Canyon, out of the resort space. Um, we're going to go out there and go for a bit of a walk and check it out. Um, and I was talking about this before, right? So we went through the, Nash the Northern Territory um, National Park stuff. Did the permit, put that in a couple of weeks before we left. Um, so we got it all back in time. So yeah, make sure you do all the right things so that you're not breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. The rules. So yeah, little trundle, Kathleen Springs. Hopefully it's uh, the goods.
so at Kings Creek Station here, they've got a whole heap of camels. I reckon they must uh, muster them up and keep them in here because there's a couple of young'uns. Wow, Very cute. Really oh, look, Tom's having a beep. Oh, this one, I reckon this is. Oh, I've got no idea. This I was going to say it's a male, but it's not. <laughs> oh, I've got no idea. But mum's over there. She's a little dark one with a little bubbly. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Tiny. Bit of camel milk. Yum. Good on your cereal, I hear. I've never seen a camel I just love how they all lay in the same way. <laughs> it's all cute. Oh, this can one we get having... one? No, yeah, can maybe. Camel? Sure. Mm. Add it to the list. After the pig. Why is this one? Get it, mate. Yeah. Mm. I wish we broke the camels down. <laughs> So we've just hit the Ernest Giles Road to, I think, Gorge National Park. So um, just like any sort of corrugated road, I'm just letting the tire pressure down, look after the tires and the suspension and smooth it out a bit. So a necessary step to, uh, yeah, just look after the car and make sure everything's all good as gold. Jess is gonna make some lunch while we're while I'm doing that and then we'll hit it on. So it's about 90, 80 to 90 Ks to the campsite, which is just outside the national parks it's called uh, Running Waters, something like that. Um, um, yeah, Running Waters, something like that. We'll um, stay there the night before heading to the national park, the Fink Gorge. So it should be nice. So. Yeah, we'll just take our time. Um, we just came from Kings Creek Station, which was pretty cool. And you can stay there too, so if you've got a bit extra time and spend another night, or on the way to Kings Canyon. Um, good spot too, I reckon. How's lunch coming, dear? Fine. Ah, I know, lucky. What a lucky man. No words? No worries. <laughs> You're a very lucky man. I am a very lucky man. Ah, so there it is. Taking the road, the full drive only road to, well, Alice Springs, but through the Fink Gorge, through to Hermansburg, and then we'll head back around and head up Warminston Gorge and Red Banks and all that sort of stuff. So it should be a killer. The wind's starting to die down, sun's out. Guns out. Guns out. Don't have any of them, so. No. Oh, less than 200 meters into it, and this is what we got. <laughs> Lucky there's no other way across the road. So, this part of um, this stretch of road and the thing have a, a tendency to flood, so we've checked the weather and um, all the roads are open, but yeah. How good? So I think we'll start to head some rain. So we are on the track to, of which I don't even think it has a name to be honest. I'm looking at the map now. Foggy Hole Road, it's the only thing I can call it. Apart from I don't think we're in that section. So we're pre-Fink Gorge um, National Park. Um, 
we're heading to Running Waters, um, which is where we think we'll stay tonight, depending on the time. It's about 3.40, 3.30. Um, but yeah, just having a ball, driving on soft sand. Um, yeah, no, it's been good, hasn't it? Day's turned nice, the wind's dropped down, flies have come out as per usual. <laughs> But no, it's not too bad, it's been, it's been really nice. So it's good to get away from a bit of hustle and bustle, get away from the black top. Just start to go remote. I love it, it's so good. It's delicious. And it's a pretty track, like set amongst the desert oaks and the mallee. Spin effects as well with the, red, with the red sand. It just, I don't know, holds a special place in my heart. Ah. Oh. We made it. To where where we make it to, darling? Running waters. Campsite. Running water waters, and I think there's like one of two campsites, and we're at one of them, the first one. Wherever that is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the section of the Pink River that always has water in it, and it's got some water in it. It yeah, looks that. great. Beautiful little spot. It is. Some twees. Some grass, some water, some dirt. lots of birds. It's very nice. Very pretty. Peaceful. It is. <laughs> it is very peaceful. A little frothy and a rosy. Could go, could go at Jats and a bit of dip. Yeah. A bit of dip. Time. Happy yeah. <laughs> Track was pretty good. Some yeah. corrugations, but nothing too serious. No, no real water after that one, that first big puddle that we went through. Yeah. But, no, it's good. A bit confusing. Like there's lots of little mm -hmm. turnoffs, like and little no station way. roads and community turnoffs to no the different like, the Aboriginal way. communities, and then there's like uh, little roads off to the bores and stuff like that. So and, and no signage. No, you sort of got to. Read um, a map. <laughs> make sure you have a good map and yeah. maybe a GPS to make sure you know sort of roughly yeah. where you are. So we we run the HEMA maps on um, an Android tablet with the Aussie Explorer app, which works pretty good. And then we have the like the HEMA paper maps and the graded the great outback tracks or desert tracks, I think it's called. So um, and we use the maps in that to sort of cross reference where we are. But there was a couple of spots where we had ourselves scratching our heads a little bit, didn't mm. we? Yeah. Um, there's lots of turns and bends and bits and pieces, so. Yeah, no, we got here, which is a good thing. <laughs> so the road initially goes from Alice, or just below Alice, and cuts through to the La Juda Highway to Kings Canyon, or Kings, Cro uh, Kings Creek Station. So you can cut across, it's four drive only, but you can sort of cut that across without having to go all the way down to Mm. El Dunder and then across mm, then the Lassiter. and then oh. yeah Lassiter Highway and then up so you can cut across but then this one jots off north um, to the Fink Gorge National Park so yeah we should be at Boggy Hole tomorrow night should be nice um, yeah so just lap it up it's beautiful here it is very nice very lovely Ah, dinner time in this beautiful camp spot. Dinner time. What are we cooking? Cooking some pork, some sweet mashed potato, Oof. and some veggies. Beautiful. Yes, our local butcher does um, these beautiful pork cutlets. I'm going to show them because they're delicious. Ooh. <sighs> Very nice. Um, yeah, a bit of thyme, salt, and pepper. And um, I'll just cook them on some oil on the cast iron plate. 
you can see down there. And then, yeah, the mash and veg. Should be nice. It's a beautiful night. Lovely. The sun's just poked its head down the down over the range and we're just lapping it up. How good's that? I don't know what that was. <laughs> I think that means good. <laughs> These are a lifesaver. These are just little billy hooks that my grandfather and I made up. Just had a brazing, old brazing rod. And they're the best. They're so good. They don't heat up. Good for picking it up, lid off. Yeah, no, nah, recommend. Something like that. Inexpensive. What? Can you help me out? Can I help her out? Uh, please. <laughs> Wondering about stubby holders. Elite. You guys asked for them, we made them. Head over to our website. Drop a link in the description below. Quality made. Adelaide made, actually. Local company. Yeah. She's doing a good job at selling. <laughs> you know the sales. <laughs> Yummo, check this out. Yum. So excited. Just cause you're camping doesn't mean you have to eat bad. <laughs> Beautiful, fresh meat, fresh veg, mash in my belly. <laughs> Matched with a rose and a South Coast ale from Parla. <laughs> How good. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yes. All right, we're gonna smack this down. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you know when our videos are going live. Make sure you hit us up on the socials, and we will see you next time when we hit Boggy Hole in the Fink Gorge National Park.